Guilty of murder is the verdict against contractor Prince Hepburn. The jury handing down that verdict late this afternoon. That verdict came just after two this afternoon. Fern Carey was at the court as the verdict was handed down. After just over an hour of deliberations, a jury has determined that Prince Hepburn is guilty of killing his girlfriend, Nellie Brown Cox, two years ago. The five-man, seven-woman jury retired at 1.07 this afternoon to consider the charge of murder and manslaughter, and by about 2.30, they had already completed their deliberations. Before they retired, however, Justice Indra Charles told jurors that in order to convict Prince Hepburn of murder, it must be unanimous, which means all of them had to agree Hebron was guilty as charged. The judge also informed jurors if they did not find Hebron guilty of murder, then they had to consider whether or not he was guilty of manslaughter by way of diminished responsibility, which significantly affected his responsibility for the crime. And in order to convict Hebron of manslaughter, eight of the 12 had to agree. When the verdict was handed down, Hebron appeared calm, the same way he had appeared throughout the trial. When asked by the court if he wished to say anything, Hebron started to speak, but was stopped by his attorney, Murillo Ducille. Meantime, Ducille told reporters outside court that he will be filing an appeal after the Easter holiday. Based on the horrific nature of the offense, and, and totally discounted what Dr. Neville had to say, whose evidence went uncontroverted, being an expert. Also, the fact that um, the prosecution sought to call Dr. Dodrick Bow, who had not given a report, and whose report, when looked at, had an acute psychotic behavior, um, which came about in a sort of quick way. So all this was discounted, and all of this was on the record from day one. The defense had not come to say that he was totally exonerated. He was partially responsible, but his responsibility was predicated on his diminished responsibility based on the circumstances of the case. Lucille also said he was surprised that jurors returned a verdict so quickly. That went totally uncontroverted. The jury having returned its verdict in such a short time simply means that there was absolutely no deliberation. They did not sit down to really consider the facts in the case. Now, lead prosecutor Franklin Williams declined an on-camera comment. However, he indicated that the Crown will not be seeking the death penalty. No, Hebron won't be sentenced until May 22nd. In the meantime, the court has ordered a psychiatric and social inquiry report. Brian Carey, CNS Network News.